at this point i feel like everybody sort of agrees that if you're only gonna build one archer march in rise of kingdoms it would be Utica prime primary with juga Liang as secondary i think both of these commanders are super powerful and the synergy here is amazing but what if you want to build two archer marches should you split up your two most powerful archer commanders so that way if one of them dies the other one is still alive in the open field dealing damage or should you just leave them paired together and find another second archer march to build i think both of these strategies are pretty good and i would say most people probably wouldn't break this pairing up unless they start to build three or more archer marches but in either of those scenarios the question becomes who would you pair with Boudicca prime and i think a lot of players swear by art amnesia i think that she is a tried and true really powerful secondary for Boudicca, especially because you can use her at five five one one and you get a really good value investment for what you're getting the other obvious choice is ysg and before jugaleon came into the game i feel like most players just used a Boudicca prime with ysg secondary and that was sort of the one golden pairing that you would have so if you find yourself in this scenario who should you pair with your Boudicca prime should you use YSG or should you use an Artemisia well that's what we're going to answer today but first what's going on guys cheers we got the 64 ounces of uh surely it's water by the way my giveaway for August is almost over this is probably the last video that I will post before it actually ends so if you've been procrastinating or you didn't even know that I was doing a giveaway I'm giving away $100 to one lucky subscriber and all you have to do is click the link down below and follow me on social media that is literally it I'm not collecting your data I'm not doing anything crazy or creepy or weird just follow me on social media and you'll be entered to win now before we jump into all the math I just sort of want to break down the difference between YSG and Artemisia as a secondary commander what are they actually bringing to the table and why are we even discussing this well everybody knows that when YSG is expertise he has a five target circular AoE on his active skill which is insane he gets 50 percent skill damage on his fourth skill 10 percent chance for 100 Archer attack and a 100 rage restoration when that occurs which means he has a nice little rage engine and of course he does have his museum relic which means if you double relic him he will have 20 percent archer defense and another five percent skill damage which brings him up to 55 percent and it's also worth noting that he has no march speed on his kit whatsoever so he is relatively slow pretty much a glass cannon if you ask me now Artemisia also has AoE but it's only three target it's 1800 which it is 100 base points higher than YSG but it is a forward facing fan shaped area so the total damage output will typically be a little bit on the lower side her second skill gives her 20 percent defense and 20 percent health her third skill gives her a 50 percent chance to get 50 percent bonus damage she silences herself but with Boudicca Prime there's a chance that you just remove that with the expertise here and then finally her expertise gives her a 10 percent chance to deal 400 damage per second for three seconds but the enemy deals 15 percent extra skill damage so there's a lot of give and take here with art of Nisha that is it makes it sort of hard to quantify which is why i want to go over some of the math you're in this video but it's also worth noting that she doesn't have any March speed either so she's relatively slow out on the battlefield as well now my art amnesia is I think 5111 in rise of kingdoms so today we're going to be using the rock battle simulator and we're going to do 15 battles with Boudicca art amnesia and then we're going to do 15 battles with Boudicca YSG now I made an entire video talking about the accuracy of the simulator I went through all the formulas for literally everything so if you missed that I'll try to link it in the description below but the conclusion was that it's about 90 to 95 percent accurate with how you would expect these troops to actually do in rise of kingdoms now let's first go over the parameters for the testing because literally the only thing that I changed between the two sets of tests was the secondary commander so here we have obviously Boudicca with Art Amnesia their archers Ottoman civilization 230,000 troop capacity you could see that is on both sides and we're going up against a Guan Scipio which I think is a very fair and very common open field march out in rise of kingdoms and they are rocking the France civilization they have all their buildings and everything leveled up they have about 17 percent attack I assumed that you would have some amount of attack from your KVK tech because that's probably where you're going to be fighting both sides have a 10 percent defense item both have six iconic points for health and that just is to keep things fair on both sides assuming that both players here would have an iconic crystal in both their horn of fury 
and their ring of doom both sides are vip 17 to 18 and both sides have 40 percent all damage because that is what you have by just being in the lost kingdom also both sides have a five percent skill damage city skin because i think again that is pretty straightforward here and you can see the talent builds on both sides again both the talent builds do not change at all throughout this video despite the change in the secondary and finally you see a sort of hybrid build of equipments for both of these sets and the reason for that is because again i don't think most of you are running around with fully legendary fully iconic talented everything but I also think that most of you will probably have something sort of similar to what you see on the screen here maybe it's a little bit worse maybe it's a little bit better but I obviously I don't know what the average person's equipment looks like so I'm kind of just generalizing here with what I think is pretty attainable by most players eventually now I'm just gonna breeze through these battle reports so that way you can actually see it for yourself but I did pull everything into a spreadsheet that we'll go over in just a moment but here we have 15 different battle battle reports and obviously the Boudicca art of Nisha won every single time I think that is pretty straightforward typically Boudicca wins 1v1s uh it's just her single target damage is so good the debuff is so good and I mean we're countering infantry like what do you expect and again here we have the same 15 tests except we swapped out the art of Nisha for the YSG and literally everything else is identical it's the same equipment same iconics same literally everything same talent tree I can even prove that by moving my head over here so everything is the same okay here's all that data pulled into a spreadsheet and you can see that we have the Boudicca YSG severely wounded units on one side the Boudicca YSG units remaining on the other side and then we have the same thing for the Guan CPO sev wounds and the Guan CPO units remaining so the average amount of severely wounded units that Boudicca YSG got was 14,098 the average amount of units remaining was 121,648 the amount of sev wounds for Guan CPO on average was 34,447 and the units remaining was zero because they lost literally every single time which is what we might expect here I just did a little bit of calculations uh and you can see that Boudicca YSG has 144 percent fewer sev wounds compared to Guan CPO as you can see 34,000 to 14,000 so it's Guan CPO took more than double the amount of sev wounds here and of course Boudicca YSG has 100 percent more units remaining because there's nothing left on the other side next we can compare that to the Boudicca Artemisia pairing and you could see that the average amount of severely wounded units was 17,231 the average amount of units remaining was 86,380 the amount of sev wounds that Guan CPO got was 32,814 and of course they won every single time once again here you could see that the Boudicca Art Amnesia took about 90 percent fewer severely wounded units than the Guan CPO which as you might expect is a worse result than the Boudicca YSG in fact when you compare the data from both sides you'll see that the Boudicca YSG G had 22 percent fewer severely wounded units and had about 29 percent more units remaining and also the Guan CPO had about 4.74 percent more severely wounded units so the enemy is taking more wounded units while you're taking significantly less wounded units which is honestly crazy so there's a few things that we can learn from this data first of all the Boudicca YSG by all metrics performed better and you might be saying okay well this was in 1v1 scenarios that's not really a good representation of how things work out in the open field and that is true except for the fact that you have to consider that YSG SG did better in the 1v1 scenario and he also has a better AoE so out in the real world he is going to be dealing just more AoE damage than Art Amnesia in general the only downside is that YSG doesn't have as many tanky stats as Art Amnesia so in the event that you get swarmed or surrounded the Art Amnesia will probably perform slightly better but I really want to highlight the damage output from YSG was significantly better than that of Art Amnesia that even though he wasn't as tanky he was still outperforming Art Amnesia in a 1v1 in every way now you might be saying okay Omni Arc that's fine but at the beginning of the video you said that Art Amnesia can be used at 5511 and therefore you get a majority of her value for significantly less sculptures than you would for YSG and that's true except for the fact that you have to consider that in order for this fourth skill to not absolutely destroy your chances of performing well you have to have an expertise Boudicca in order to do that and you do not need an expertise Boudicca to pair it with YSG so in this case yes you would be saving a lot of sculptures by not expertising Ardenesia but you'd be spending more sculptures on expertising your Boudicca and of course the math doesn't make it break even obviously you're still spending more on the five 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 one 
Boudicca Prime with an Expertise YSG than you would with an Expertise Boudicca Prime and a 5511 Ardmanesia. However, you get YSG so much sooner, and he has so many other use cases in Rise of Kingdoms that I think the probability that you would have an Expertise YSG is going to be higher than the probability that you would have even begun working on an Ardmanesia by the time you get access to her because it's season three or later so in conclusion when you compare a secondary for Boudicca if you're not going to be using Duga Liang because obviously that's the right answer uh if you have to choose between YSG and Ardmanesia what you have to know is that YSG will outperform in 1v1s he will be dealing more AOE skill damage both of them are going to be relatively slow and Ardmanesia has a chance at maybe performing a little bit better if they get swarmed but let's be honest here if you're getting swarmed as an archer march you're gonna be melted kind of either way so i probably wouldn't be making an investment based on that occurrence now i want to go on record by saying that Boudicca art is not a bad pairing and again if you're building three or more marches that's probably the best pairing that you can do because you can use your other assets in other places but if you're only building two pairs and you're wondering should you use Boudicca with art i would say if you got ysg you probably can just slap him there and you're probably going to be better off and honestly when we look six to 12 months from now when we have a new set of archer commanders in the game i suspect that artemnesia will definitely fall off the list of commanders that players are using in their lineup even if you're an archer main you probably would still rather want run a YSG than Ardemnesia once you have another new commander to slot into your arsenal I feel like she's probably going to be the first one to fall off that's just my opinion I could be wrong let me know in the comments section below while you're down there make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the YouTube algorithm so other Rise of Kingdoms players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video and don't forget about my giveaway in the description below this is your last chance to enter to win and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace